jazz and country music, as well as the artist's commitment to the show. While Opry members transcend generations and styles under the country music umbrella, they all share a passion for the Opry and a commitment to ensuring it will live on long after any one artist or group leaves its stage. Opry membership is about relationships, the relationships between an artist and country music fans, you. The relationships Opry members have with each other and the relationships between each artist and the ideal of the Grand Ole Opry. Those relationships are embodied by the Opry Member Award, presented on a new member's induction night. The artist who will be inducting our new member to the Opry family is a longtime friend of Chris Young, who's watched Chris's star rise for well over a decade now. On this very stage, I want to take him back to a December night of 2000, Bill Anderson, Jeannie Seeley, and little Jimmy Dickens invited him to be a part of the Opry family. Then, on February 17, 2001, Steve Warren officially inducted him into Opry membership. Tonight, it's his turn to bring a new member into the fold. Ladies and gentlemen, to officially induct Chris Young into Grand Ole Opry membership, please welcome back Brad Casey. You know that. Look where you're standing. In the circle. I raise your right hand. I have a move from leader. Oh, okay. Repeat after me. I'm kidding. We don't actually do that in this. I'll tell you, when I when I was first made a member of this crazy family, I had no idea the actual way this is a family. I quickly was accepted and asked to be a part of so many things. Chris is one of those people that will make the most of this. You are a great guy. I say that with all my heart. You, you folks probably have only had the pleasure of either meeting him or watching him on TV. You may not know him that well, but this is a great human being. That's what the opera needs. It needs people like Chris. Here at the Opry, we like to hang out backstage as members. We like to take trips together, some of us. They have a, a year, yearly bird hunt. That you, I know you have gone haven't you? Uh, that's part of the perks. Uh, they have... I have... I quickly, after joining, was asked to come to the hospital for a couple of members that were that were on their last legs, and that's what we do. And Jeannie Seely put her arm around me once as I was leaving uh, a hospice room for one of our members, and she said, you wanted to be a part of this family, well you are, this is what we do. It's what you'll do too, I know. And the thing about this, when you look around at the history in this place, this, I've always considered the Opry unique in any format of music. Every format has its Hall of Fames and its museums and artifacts. I don't know any that have a zoo. <laughs> Besides us. This is a zoo. It's not a museum full of inanimate objects. This is a zoo. You can come see the animals live in their cages. You can... Some of them will let you pet them. It's, it's, tr it's truly a unique organization, but I'm, and I'm serious when I say that. You are a part of something that's living and breathing. You will have a home on this stage the rest of your life. You can come out and sing any song you want to sing, and we will be so proud to have you here. I, love you. I guess I get to say this. Chris Young is the newest member of the Grand Ole Opry.
I'm supposed to say? <laughs> Something not stupid, probably. <laughs> so that's the two best words I can think of is thank you.